voting is underway right now in Moscow-controlled regions of Ukraine on referendums to join Russia. That's right. Ukrainian President Zelensky has called the Kremlin-orchestrated votes a, quote, sham referenda. Western leaders say this could be the next step in a potential annexation of those regions by Russia. The referendums come after Russian President Vladimir Putin said he would call up reserve troops to fight in the war. Voting is scheduled to run through Tuesday. For more on this, Elise Giuliano joins us now. She's a senior lecturer in political science at Columbia University. Elise, thank you for joining us uh, today, this afternoon. We know Russia will intend this outcome to be, what, 99.9% .9 of people living in this part of Ukraine want to be a part of Russia, the same type of thing they did in, in Crimea. What, in your view, is the, the purpose of an action like this at a time like this? Mm-hmm. Well, absolutely. We've seen this show before in 2014 in Crimea when the outcome was 97 percent and when Russia annexed Crimea. And it's the same in this case. This is an annexation. It's not actually a vote. Um, and there are multiple reasons, multiple audiences. But let's talk about the main audience. The main audience really is the West and the U.S. Uh, because Putin believes that Ukraine is controlled by the West and by the U.S. So he's trying to the Biden and the U.S. to put pressure. Zelensky, how so? Well, by annexing these regions, by declaring them part of Russia, Russia can then say, well, any attack on this Ukrainian territory is now an attack on Russian territory, and therefore uh, Russia has the right to respond. Um, and they can also claim that this is an attack by NATO, and they can somehow, in a convoluted way, justify um, the, the possible use of tactical nuclear weapons. At least that's the threat. Mm. So by making that threat, Putin wants to intimidate uh, the West and get the West to put pressure on Zelensky. At this point, I guess the question is the timing, right? Why now? Uh, at this point in the conflict, we've seen this war rage on. Is it because of those factors that you just laid out, the opinion of the West, the posture of the United States? Um, why at this particular juncture do you think uh, this is taking place? The timing can be explained by the fact of the successful Kharkiv offensive by Ukraine. Um, just about a week and a half ago, we saw Ukraine make a big push. Nobody expected that the military um, um, line of contact would change so quickly. And Ukraine really pushed and took a lot of territory in Kharkiv region. Uh, this was a surprise to um, uh, many observers, um, not least of which was Russia. So Russia is nervous, right? And, and some of the actors on the ground are nervous that Ukraine's successful military um, offense is continuing. And it is. Could Putin be miscalculating here? Um, you know, Elise, is he really reading the room? I mean, there are lines of people trying to get out of Russia. Many of the Russian troops, according to reports, are telegraphing back home to mom and everybody else saying, we're actually not doing what we signed up for. Um, I'm just wondering if, even with the invasion itself, Russia, uh, you know, Vladimir Putin intended this to be fast and fierce. It is anything but. Um, and now they're calling up reservists in Russia to add to the mix. It, it, what's the danger of what Vladimir is Putin, um, d the danger of what he's doing at home domestically? What, what mm -hmm. vulnerabilities does he have? Mm -hmm. Absolutely a miscalculation from the get-go. Uh, you know, misunderstanding of Ukraine, misunderstanding of the Ukrainian population, mis um, miscalculation about the strength of the, uh, of the Ukrainian army and the response, the unified response of the West and of Europe. And it looks like absolutely, you're absolutely right, that Putin hasn't learned a lesson and is actually doubling down. And it looks a, a quit, uh, it looks a, quite a bit to me like a, an, an act of desperation. Yeah. Um, to declare basically a general mobilization really puts um, his, his position at risk domestically. And we can see a lot of um, dissension in Russia. Um, they try to not say it was a general mobilization. They threw out this number 300,000, it's misdirection. It's, it's, not, it's not the truth. They're actually going to call up and press into service uh, many Russian citizens. A miscalculation and an underestimating of the force of that Ukrainian resistance. Elise yeah. Giuliano. Elise, thanks very much for sharing your insight with us. Thanks, Elise.